Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome to another video of Smite. Once again I am playing Arena, though it's a little bit different this time because I am playing Ares, who is a Guardian. It's not very often that I actually play the melee classes, let alone Guardians. We're up against quite a high level Nemesis and a Poseidon, but we also have quite a high level Zeus on our team. In fact, my team is actually four mages and myself who is a Guardian, but uh, Zeus's ulti combos really well with that of Ares. So let's have a quick look at my skills. Um, my passive is uh, quite simple. Basically, the uh, every time I complete an item that has an aura, it gives me an extra 30 uh, magic uh, strength, so I do more damage. Um, my first ability is my shackle, which uh, flies out and attaches to uh, an enemy god. In doing so, it actually slows them down, prevents them from using... Uh, movement abilities and at the same time it actually gives me a bit of a speed buff. Uh, once it hits a god I can fire it off again within two seconds for free and I can actually get up to three gods shackled. Um, my second ability is bolster defenses which basically provides protections for a short period of time to myself and my allies. My third ability searing pain lets me fire flames out of my shield in a frontal cone. It makes me immune to knockbacks and does a lot of damage which is what I'm doing right here just to try and cook off the creep wave a little bit. And Ares ulti which is absolutely overpowered is an ability called no escape where he basically chains everybody in. That, that's my shackle ability. Uh, he chains everybody everybody in and when they all get drawn towards him after two and a half seconds they take a massive amount of damage and they get stunned and the more gods that are caught by it the longer the duration of the stun it's like point, uh, 0.2 extra seconds for every god so we've got an awful lot of sort of aoe burst damage from all of the mages that we have on our team uh, zeus's ultimate is uh, very very powerful as is that of al kang and as is that of Herr Bois. So they're all quite good. I'm just going in with uh, Shackles as Ra manages to get the first kill on their Naja. And we also, I get the assist on that as well. So we shouldn't ever really have any problems with creep waves on this match. Simply because we just have so much AoE damage and so much burst damage. I and mean, look at that, Ra and Ao Kang can mop up a creep wave in absolutely seconds. Now I really need to try and keep a watch on my teammates, mainly because they are in a position where they're quite vulnerable. Ares does run out of mana quite quickly at this point in the game. I'm just trying to get the shackle on to uh, Zhivalanke there, just to sort of make him back off. And it works quite nicely. But our hairboar also picks up the kill on him and I get an assist. So for those of you wondering, Herbar is the guy on the little water uh, spout there that's just being attacked. Uh, many people think that his name is Hebo. It's certainly how it is spelt. Uh, but I'm reliably informed that the pronunciation is more similar to Herbar. So Zeus picks up the kill on their, uh, their Naja. And I'm just trying to be careful because I do want to sort of get my items upgraded as quickly as I can. But I don't want to leave the mages out there on their own. Uh, I do want to get my beads upgraded. I also need to make sure that I've got potions. I get my boots and I need to start working on my armor. I shouldn't be concentrating on doing damage because I am a guardian. Which means that I'm designed to initiate fights, protect my allies and just basically be a right pain. Now that is where I hit my no escape. I only managed to hit two people with it, but Zeus did fire off his ulti. I got the kill on Poseidon. Zeus got the kill on Naja and Zhivalanke. So I actually got assists for Zeus's two kills, as well as a kill of my own. Um, their nemesis did pick up a kill on our um, Herbois, though, in the middle of all that. But overall, we did pretty well there. We now have six kills to their one, as I go in with my Searing Paint to try and help Alkang mop up this Creep Wave. They're just dealing with our Creep Wave, so I didn't really feel the need to get involved with that. Though Alkang and Zeus do go forward quite a bit and try and get some of the damage on. In comes Zhivalanke's stun. I managed to hit my beads to become immune to it, just so that I could push forwards if Zhivalanke went on anybody, which he does. I hit him with my Shackle, hit him with my Searing Pain, also hit Nemesis, but then I realised, hang on, I'm kind of getting cornered here. I do back off a little bit, start going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nemesis, hit my bolster defences. Herbois picks up the kill on Zhivalanke. Okay, once again, I receive another assist for that. So, 
I have to point out, this is also the very first time that I have used Ares as I get hit by Poseidon's ulti. Zeus did pick up the kill on their Najar, which is great. So my very first time in using Ares, and at the 4 minute mark, I have only 1 kill, but 6 assists and no deaths, which is quite good. Like I said, you shouldn't ever really see Guardians with a lot of kills, because they don't have a lot of damage output. They're more designed for initiating fights, for crowd control, uh, for slowing down the uh, opposing team to help stop them chasing you and also to try and stop the enemy team from getting away if you are attempting a gank so zeus and i are actually communicating quite well here using our um sort of voice uh, abilities to just let each other know when our ultimates are ready and off cooldown now you can actually see by looking at the little blue diamond under the character portraits in the top left hand corner you can actually see when somebody's ultimate is ready because the blue diamond is lit uh if the blue diamond isn't lit you see the those little chevrons that start to fill up which lets you know how close it is to coming off cooldown of course just because it's off cooldown doesn't mean they have enough mana to fire it off so it's quite possible sometimes that but, uh, it isn't on cooldown, but they can't use it. So that's why Zeus was probably shouting his ultimate was down, even when he appeared to have it ready. He probably didn't have the mana to do it at that point. So I'm looking for an opportunity to run him in and hit my no escape, which I do. Still only managed to get two of them, and Zeus hits. Zeus gets the kill on Allure and Jibalanke, and I pick up two more assists. Shame we didn't get a few more of them, but um, it certainly helps. So Zeus is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jibalanke. I go in and try and uh, fend him off, and then actually... That could have been their Poseidon, actually. I think that was their, their Poseidon. Um, but their Poseidon actually hits me with his uh, ulti, which was a bit of a pain. So I go in with the Searing Pain, try and mop up the Creep Wave, realise that they've got a lot of people coming my way. Try and back out a little bit. Still got my Shackle on to uh, Nijar, even when he's up there doing his uh, ultimate in the middle of the sky. I decide it's time to go back and upgrade my armour, because our Zeus is dead anyway, and Herbois taking quite a bit of damage. He's back in the fountain healing up. So I do manage to get my... Um, my breastplate which gives me a physical protection aura and obviously it's an aura item which then means I get 30 extra magical damage as well. Um, Al Kang trying to escape there, I do my best to uh, slow down his pursuer which is Poseidon. I do manage to pick up the kill on. Just trying to chase down Allure as Hebo manages to knock him up in the air. It's quite difficult to chase down, Ares isn't the fastest of gods. A little bit of frame drop there again. Now, one thing I do tend to notice uh, in a lot of games, particularly if there are some inexperienced players in there, is people often do just dive in as our Ao Kang picks up a kill on their allure. Uh, people often do just dive in and quite easily get themselves killed. You have to remember the sort of class you're playing and play to your strengths as I hit my shackle on Jivalanke, but then get caught by stun. So... Warriors, oh here we go, managed to actually get four people attached with my ulti. Zeus gets the kill on uh, Najar, Ullur, and on Jibalanke, and I get three assists for those. He also manages to get the kill on Nemesis, so that's uh, another assist for that. So now two kills and uh, 12 assists, quite happy with that. So as I was saying, you need to learn to play the class that you're playing. Guardians don't do much damage, but they should be always at the front protecting everybody else. They have the most armor and the most health. They should initiate fights. They should be the first in and the last out. Warriors should pretty much stand side by side with Guardians. They're a little bit more squishy, but do more damage. So they are good initiators. They're not quite as tanky, but they can kill the opposition just as quick. Mages and Hunters should stay back as often as they can and use their range to their advantage. They're not very good in melee combat, they have very little health and die quite quickly. So they should stay at the maximum range they have and look for opportunities to try and isolate um, members of the opposite team. As our Ra picks up the kill on uh, Naja and I get the assist. Get my shackle off on Allure, but we don't quite manage to catch him up. He uses his getaway, even though we throw pretty much everything we have. I realise we're being flanked from the left-hand side, so I turn around to have a look at that, and then go back because um, Nemesis was in the middle of a fight, although it didn't last long, and unfortunately there, Najar picks up a kill on our Herbois, which is a bit of a shame. 
And the remaining class is the Assassins. They are, again, quite squishy, but they do a lot of damage. They really need to stay on the sidelines or stay back, wait for an opportunity. Their idea is to stay back, wait for their opportunity, get in quick, do as much damage as they can, and then get out quick before any damage happens to them. So... You really just have to avoid having mages and uh, assassins running forward and just getting insta-ganked, which I see quite often. I was looking for an opportunity there to use my ulti, but I couldn't really find one that looked like it'd be worth it as Zeus picks up the kill on their Najar. I do shackle uh, Jibalanke, but of course he's just going to run straight towards their fountain. If they get far enough away, it does break the shackle anyway, so it's not all that useful at range. Uh, in comes the stun from uh, Jibalanke. My beads were on cooldown so I just decided to stand still. I see them all grouping together. I go in with my ulti, manage to get it on two of them as Harbor picks up the kill on uh, Jibalanke and then we get the kill on Allure and on Poseidon and I get the assists for that as their Najar uses his ulti on me. I've got no mana at this point and I'm not on full health so I decided well we got a few kills there. We've got a full team. I'm just going to run back and upgrade my next item. So, of course, I'm buying everything uh, manually. Pick up my Void Stone to reduce magical protection on enemies, which is really, really good. Also, picking up Mystical Mail, which is quite useful when it's completed because it does damage to enemies that are near me. So, if I'm in the middle of a group, particularly useful when I am doing my ulti, uh, it'll do additional damage to everybody. I also think it's an aura, which will then give me the extra magic power. So, quite useful to combo these things up. In goes the Shackle on Jibalanke. Uh, Zeus manages to pick up the kill. I'm still trying to cook allure but he just get away i get behind poseidon quite nicely there pop my bolster defenses poseidon almost gets away but herbois pops him just before he makes a run for it i decide to go on nemesis who pops her shield but i hit her with the shackle Al kang is helping as much as he can because he does a lot of damage and she gets away so unfortunately i just really don't have the damage output to kill anybody and i do rely on my teammate to teammates to do the damage while i try and sort of hold everybody in place and harass so currently, just at the 11 minute mark, I have two kills and zero deaths, which isn't a great score, but then I have 18 assists, which for a Guardian is where everything is measured, as I pop my beads to avoid the stun from Jivalanke. Just mopping up the final creep. I can see there's someone over there with very low health, but I know I'm never going to get to them. Just letting Zeus know that my ultimate is ready. And it's now just a matter of trying to find an opportunity to use it. We are ahead on score at this point. Ra is doing his best to mop up the creep waves and harass. Ao Kang runs in a little bit deep there, so I decide I'll go in and get my ulti ready. Uh, I notice they are trying to back off. They know what's coming. Sadly, at that point, Nemesis actually finishes me off. That was my fault. I didn't have my team with me. I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on around me. I got greedy. I saw an opportunity to try and use my ultimate and uh, get a lot of the uh, enemy team caught in it. And I literally just made a mistake. I wasn't really watching what I was doing. So I've got my beads upgraded to the highest rank now. As their nemesis picks up a kill on our Al Kang. I decide I'm going to chase her down at this point. I pop my sprint to try and catch up with her. I use my um, searing pain. But she does get away. I notice there's a few people at low health. Ra picks up the kill on Allure. I go in and just sort of try to mop up the creep wave. But Ra just obliterates them. So I thought, well, I'll go over here. I'll help Zeus take down this siege tower. I can see Jibalanke standing around there on the other side. So I thought, well, I'll go and harass him off. Fire at him with my shackle and miss completely. The whole team's coming in, but there's still 30 seconds left on my ultimate. So I can't do an awful lot about it now. Zeus, Hebois, and Alkang all have their ultimates ready. So I have a feeling that, um, you know, they could pop them whenever they want to. So just hoping that they uh, they will come a bit closer and group together, but give me the 15 seconds that I need for my uh, ulti to come off the cooldown. So, uh, I stop moving to avoid taking the stun from Jibalanke as their side and picks up the kill on our Herbois. There goes um, Ao Kang with his ultimate and manages to pick up the kill on Naja. And it's really, really difficult when you're trying to remember a lot of Chinese god names that you're not that familiar with and try to remember roughly how to pronounce them while doing a fast-paced commentary. Especially if you're not a native Chinese speaker. So I was just trying to slow Allure down and keep him in Ao Kang's storm. But it didn't do an awful lot. So I decided to go back to the middle where the team is. So Zeus and uh, Herbois still have their ultimates. So does Ra and I have mine. Just looking for an opportunity to get it as Ao Kang manages to pick up the kill. 
Zeus also gets a kill. Ra gets a kill. I run into the middle. Get a couple of assists in there. But I still have my ulti to play with as Zeus picks up the kill on Poseidon. So, uh, I get another couple of assists. As far as teams go, it is 32 kills to 11. Of which I've only had two of those kills and one death, but 22 assists. So, I am quite happy with that. So we are doing very well at this point. We are, you know, sort of 400% ahead in tickets, so that's quite nice. I've got quite low health here, so I'm just watching and seeing what I can do. Decide that I've probably got time to go in for one more ultimate. Zeus tells me to wait, probably because his ultimate is still on cooldown, as I can see. I go in a little bit too deep there. I was hoping to pick somebody off and miss. However, Zeus just managed to get a kill on Nemesis and Lur, and I think I can got the kill on Jibalanke there, as Zeus picks up yet another kill on uh, Najar. This Zeus was a very, very good player. Actually, I don't think he was going to pick Zeus until he saw me select Hades, uh, not Hades, Ares. And when I selected Ares, he then picked Zeus. He knew how effective this um, Ares-Zeus combo was, and um, really, really sort of... Uh, carried this match for us really so I go in manage to hit my ultimate again on two gods of course Zeus brings the lightning and gets a double kill on Nemesis and Jibalanke as Aokang picks up the kill on Allure uh, nice handful of assists for me as I managed to pick up the final kill on Poseidon 183 tickets remaining 41 kills to 14 I had three kills one death and 29 assists although i do have to say i definitely think that um zeus had the vast majority of those kills as we will see by the end when i uh, bring up the score table so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you are still enjoying this vi these videos i've still got quite a few of them in the bag to uh, commentate and put up for you so i'll continue to do that so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time until then goodbye for now